Today, we're going to look at the 26th President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt. It was Teddy Roosevelt who gave the White House its name in 1901. He famously said, believe you can, and you're halfway there. He used to be a cattle rancher, a deputy sheriff, a police commissioner, the assistant secretary of the Navy, and the governor of New York. His campaign slogan in 1904 was, to assure continued prosperity. He was the first American president to travel outside of America while in office. Teddy Roosevelt lost his mother and wife on the same day, which happened to be Valentine's Day, in two separate incidences. On this day, he drew a large X in his diary and wrote, the light has gone out of my life. Teddy Roosevelt was the main inspiration of Batman. Seriously. Roosevelt was from a wealthy family. As I already said, he lost his wife and mother on the same day. He was so devastated by the death of his wife and mother that Roosevelt traveled the world, mostly in the Middle East, to find a way to vent his rage practically. Upon his travels, he became a skilled fighter and hunter. Over time, Roosevelt became more and more aware of how much poverty and violence there was in the world and decided to convert all his grief and anger into a practical driving force to better the world. Bill Finger loved this idea so much that he incorporated it into his comic book character, Batman. As a child, Roosevelt nearly died from asthma. If he did die, we would have never had Batman. Upon Roosevelt's inauguration, he wore a ring which contained a lock of Abraham Lincoln's hair. Roosevelt also attended Lincoln's funeral. He coined the term square deal. He was the first president to dive in a submarine, to ride in a car, and to fly in a plane. Roosevelt enjoyed hunting. One day, it was said that he saw a wounded black bear cub and refused to shoot it. The media loved the story so much that stuffed bears became known as teddy bears, and they became universally popular. However, the refusing to shoot the bear cub story is not true. Roosevelt was a black belt in jiu-jitsu, and he was a champion boxer. He sparred with boxing champion John L. Sullivan in the White House gym. He was the first brown bear in judo in all of America. Roosevelt was so passionate for judo that he had a judo gym in the basement of the White House and would challenge anyone in a fight, including his wife. Roosevelt had to stop boxing as he said it would look absurd for the leader of a country to regularly appear in public with a black eye or swollen nose. Roosevelt was at a state luncheon with a Swiss minister. He found it so boring that Roosevelt knocked the minister off his feet with a judo move just to show how effective martial arts could be. He is the inspiration for the main villain in the Sonic the Hedgehog video game, Dr. Robotnik. Sega thought Teddy Spectacles' bushy mustache and maniacal grin would be perfect for the game's antagonist. Roosevelt claimed to have read 10,000 books, many of which were in foreign languages. The only source of this information is Roosevelt's word, but considering he had a judo gym in the White House and he indirectly inspired Batman, it does not seem that far-fetched. Roosevelt could read so fast that he could read at least one book every day before breakfast. Even when he was president, Roosevelt could read up to four books a day. He carried a gun on him at all times while he was president. Roosevelt was the youngest American president. He was only 42 when he was inaugurated. He hated being called Teddy. Roosevelt talked so passionately about certain matters that his friends assumed he researched them for years. Little did they know he had only read about them that morning. Roosevelt once burned a portrait of himself because he believed it did not look masculine enough. The painter had to repaint it four times before it reached Roosevelt's expectations. Roosevelt owned guinea pigs called Dr. Johnson, Admiral Dewey, Fighting Bob Evans, Bishop Doan, and Father O'Grady. He had a pony called Algonquin, a hen called Baron Spreckle, a snake called Spinach, a parrot called Eli, a pig called Maud, two dogs called Rollo and Sailor Boy, two cats called Tom Quartz and Slippers, a bear called Jonathan Edwards, an owl, a hyena, a one-legged rooster, a lion, and a pet badger called Josiah. He would feed Josiah potatoes and bottled milk. Roosevelt received a Nobel Prize in 1906 for helping to settle the Russo-Japanese War. He was the first president to receive a Nobel Prize. Army soldiers wrote letters of complaint to Roosevelt saying that riding for 25 miles a day for training was too tiring. Roosevelt retorted, by riding horseback for a hundred miles from sunrise to sunset while he was 51 years old. The army did not complain after that. Alice Lee Roosevelt Longworth was Teddy Roosevelt's daughter. She played poker, drove fast, stayed out late without a chaperone, smoked in public, put tacks on chairs in the Senate's public gallery, and walked around a railway station with a boa constrictor around her shoulders. Although she was married, it was common knowledge that she had several affairs, but there was one defiant act she committed that topped them all. She wore pants. <laughs> Clearly she had gone mad with power.
When Teddy Roosevelt was asked about his daughter's antics, he said, I can either run the country or I can attend to Alice, but I cannot possibly do both. On October 14th, 1912, Roosevelt was delivering a campaign in Wisconsin when he got shot in the chest by John Schrank. Roosevelt believed that the metallic shard in his chest wasn't a big deal because he wasn't coughing up blood. He then said, Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whether you fully understand that I have just been shot, but it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. Thus, he refused to go to the hospital until he finished his 90-minute speech. The bullet was too dangerous to remove, so it stayed in his body for the rest of his life. Even if the doctors could remove it, he probably would have kept it in just to show off. Schrank wanted to kill Roosevelt because of a dream he had where the previous president, William McKinley, appeared and told Schrank to avenge his death and pointed to a picture of Roosevelt. This was a bit odd since McKinley was clearly killed by Leon Shulgaz. Bizarrely, Roosevelt knew that having the bullet removed would kill him because he remembered that vital piece of information from McKinley's assassination, even though the inability to locate McKinley's bullet was what killed him. So, the man that Shrank believed was killed by Teddy Roosevelt is the same man who saved Teddy Roosevelt. How ironic and confusing. He created or expanded more national monuments than any other president. He died from blood clot in the lung. His final words were, Please put out the light, James. He said this to his family servant, James Amos. Upon his death, his son, Archibald, telegraphed his siblings with the words, The lion is dead. When he died, a politician said, Death had to take him sleeping, for if Roosevelt had been awake, there would have been a fight. To learn more facts, check out my books. They're available on Amazon, on paperback, and Kindle. Thanks for watching. See you again.